Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. I know I'm a little late on this story, but I do have to talk about this because there has been this huge drama going on between these popular YouTubers, James Charles, Tati, and Jeffree Star. Now, if you have no idea what's going on, I am gonna give you a quick background. Now, James Charles is one of the most popular beauty gurus on YouTube and his fame on YouTube has really taken him places. In fact, he has several collaborations with different brands and he actually became the face of CoverGirl and he was the first male to do this, okay? So this 19 year old beauty influencer, James Charles, has really gotten a lot of success in a short period of time in the beauty industry. And his so-called friends, Tati and Jeffree Star, were jealous of his success and tried to take him under, but it backfired. Now I'm gonna talk about what happened. This beauty influencer on YouTube named Tati shook up the internet when she made this 40 minute long video exposing her good friend, James Charles. She talked about how she was responsible for helping James launch his beauty career. And she talked about how James betrayed her trust. Not only that, she said that James tried to manipulate straight men into thinking they were gay so they could behave sexually in his favor. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. And you're doing that to have them behave sexually in your favor, even if they're straight. And you know what? That's not okay. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why on earth Tati went on YouTube to expose her good friend, James. Well, believe it or not, Tati made an expose video on James because James promoted a company called Sugar Bear Vitamins on social media, and Sugar Bear happens to be a rival company to Tati's vitamin brand called Halo Beauty. So she was mad at the fact that James promoted a product that rivaled her product. In her mind, James was her friend and she thought that he supported her, so she was upset about it and she was crying about it on social media and she ended up going to YouTube to expose James. And the claims that Tati made in her video, of course, did hurt James Charles. In fact, he lost close to 3 million subscribers and not only that, a lot of celebrities unfollowed him and he was dragged on the internet. The worst part of all was James was accused of being a sexual predator and he was also accused of harassing straight men. Jeffree Star decided to hop in the conversation and he made some pretty wild tweets. Now this guy named Ian, who's James' brother said, why does everyone act so tough over the internet? And Jeffrey replied and said, why is your brother a predator? Why'd you really move back to New York City? Exactly, shut up. There is a reason that Nathan banned James Charles from ever coming to our home again. There's a reason why I haven't seen him since Tati's birthday in February. He is a danger to society. Everything Tati said is 100% true. Now, when Jeffrey made these tweets, this actually made things worse. And it kind of made me realize that Jeffrey had a personal vendetta to take James down as well. Now, obviously when a person is a snake, they move a little more subtle. Jeffrey never did an expose video on James the way Tati did, but he was definitely waiting for the chance to take him down. And when this whole situation between James and Tati blew up, he took the chance to take him down. Jealousy is a nasty disease. And I'm telling you, Jeffrey is jealous of James Charles because James is everything Jeffrey wish he could be. He wish he could be young. He wish he could be beautiful. And he wish he had the same clout and the same respect in the beauty industry that James has. So out of jealousy, he tried to ruin James' reputation. And James doesn't have the best reputation, I will say that. But at the same time, he had to come out and defend himself because there were a lot of lies being told about him. So he uploaded a video and came with the receipts, exposing both Jeffree Star and Tati. Now, James first addressed Tati and talked about the whole Sugar Bear Vitamin controversy. James said the only reason why he sponsored Sugar Bear Vitamins in the first place was because he was desperate to get an artist pass for Coachella. And Sugar Bear Hair promised to give him an artist pass if he promoted their product. So James signed a contract and did a quick promotion. 
and Tati was upset about it. Now, James said that he tried to reach out to Tati and let her know ahead of time what was going on. However, Tati lied in her video and said that James reached out to her only after he promoted the product. Before posting my stories, I actually did text Tati first out of respect for her, giving her heads up about the sponsorship, but she was immediately upset. I tried my best to kind of explain the entire situation and also give her a direct apology as well. But at this point, I had signed the contract and I absolutely had to post it. There was no getting out of it. Tati also lied about James never promoting her Halo Beauty products, and James came with the receipts that he promoted her products on several occasions. Best friend Tati, she's launching something new on Halo Beauty. Super proud of her. By the time this video is out, it'll already be up, so go check it out. Promo for Tati, love you the most. Can I just say I love you guys for putting a Halo question in there? Mm -hmm. I just received my package from Halo Beauty. This is Tati's brand new brand. Um, I did not tell Tati that I was buying these, but I did pay for these myself because I just wanted to support her. Not only that James addressed the accusations that Tati made against him about him trying to manipulate and make sexual advances towards straight men. Now Tati was specifically talking about an incident at a restaurant where James was hitting on a waiter named Sam and making really inappropriate comments. James actually revealed what really happened during that dinner and he said he never made inappropriate comments or comments that made the waiter uncomfortable. In fact the waiter was interested in James and they did did end up linking up later on. Not only that, James said that he never made sexual advances towards him without his consent. The next day, Sam slid into my DMs first and I happened to see it. We started talking back and forth and he mentioned that he was flattered by me flirting with him the night beforehand. Sorry about last night, you were very attractive. And then I responded with, it's all good, very flattering actually. A few minutes into the conversation, I asked him about his sexuality and he told me straight up that he was bisexual. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay. There was no straight men being manipulated anywhere in the story like Tati mentioned. And after that movie, he asked to kiss me. I said yes. And we ended up making out for around an hour. And if I'm being honest, he's the worst kisser I've ever kissed. Way too much time. All right, note taken. <laughs> Basically, the whole point of this was to let people know that James was not trying to turn a straight guy gay. The guy claimed that he was bi-curious and he was interested in James, but after dealing with James, he realized that he wasn't really all that interested. So he kind of led James on, but that's besides the point. Basically, James was trying to shut down the claim that Tati made about him trying to turn this straight waiter gay. Honestly, that really makes no sense because he can't turn a straight guy gay. But I will say this, James has admitted to being attracted to straight men, even though they're not attracted to him. So James has tried to shoot his shot, but he has been turned down. And that should be a lesson to James because he can't try to pursue someone who's not into him because that could be considered borderline harassment. But James never took his flirting as far as sexually assaulting or sexually harassing someone the way that Tati and Jeffrey made it seem. Jeffrey made some very severe claims about James saying that he was a predator and he was a danger to society and he said a lot of foul things to James behind the scenes and James basically exposed all of it. I've already cleared up Sam and our nights together being 100% consensual. He was absolutely not trapped in a hotel room. But Jeffrey also brings up Zach. Zach is his boyfriend, Nate's brother. And not only did I not pursue Zach, who identifies as mainly straight, but it was actually Jeffrey who suggested that I talk to him in the first place. Hey, Nate's brother is single and mainly straight. Oh. Right up your alley. Sounds good. And, and Jeffrey Starr, of all people, had quote tweeted Ian's tweet saying, why is your brother a predator? Why did you really move back to New York City? After this, I went to check my phone and noticed that Jeffrey had texted me a few minutes prior and I opened my phone to this. Grayson is going on camera shortly to finally tell the world how you tried to molest him and touch him in his sleep and made him uncomfortable for months, you sick motherfucker. Next, Zach will be going on camera to tell how twisted and sick you were, trying to get him to like you and then make him feel bad when he didn't want to send you photos back. Then Sam from Seattle will be joining me and Cameron to talk about you trapping him in his hotel room. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. You need the internet taken away from you. You are a danger to society. When all this went down, I knew Jeffrey was lying because the twins were two of the first people to call me and make sure that I was okay. 
Last but finally not least, Jeffrey posted this tweet claiming he hadn't seen me since February and that Nate banned me from their home. Now, this so-called ban is the first time I'm ever hearing of this, and I just think it's really funny that Jeffrey brought this up, considering the fact that he's tweeted me twice in between February and now saying that he missed me. Um, Regardless, he ended that tweet by saying I was a danger to society and everything in Tati's video was 100% true. Adding insult to injury, not only did Jeffrey text me, but he also went out of his way to text my best friend, Drew, this lovely message, trying to turn him against me. Jeffrey's messaging about me both in private and in public was hurtful, defamatory, extremely excessive, but most importantly, literally all based on lies. So as you can see, Jeffrey was DMing James all types of crazy stuff, and his anger towards James was completely unwarranted. But like I said before, Jeffrey is jealous of James and he tried to take him down. He didn't make a YouTube video like Tati did, but he was definitely trying to take him down behind the scenes. And there have been some conspiracies that Jeffrey and Tati were conspiring with Shane Dawson to take James down. This is only a conspiracy, but I wouldn't be surprised if it were true because the clout chasing is real on YouTube and people make up stuff all the time for views. I've seen it. I've seen some of these big YouTubers make fake storylines and force fake relationships for views. It's crazy. So it's really not all that unbelievable that Tati and Jeffrey came together to take James down, but I really don't like the way Jeffrey came at James. And I'll be honest, I don't like Jeffrey at all. He uploaded this bogus video trying to address the whole situation, but nobody, you were caught red-handed doing some shady stuff behind the scenes all because you are jealous of James. And not only that, Jeffrey has done a lot of messed up stuff that people tend to overlook and I don't know why. I don't know why he's one of the biggest beauty gurus on YouTube. I don't even know why he's considered a beauty guru. Somebody explain that to me, but anyway. Jeffrey in the past has disrespected a lot of black women, but people tend to overlook that for some reason. They overlook the fact that he called makeup by Shayla a rat. They overlook the fact that his former wig dryer exposed his text calling Jackie Ina a gorilla. And they also overlook this old footage. Oh, you be that nigger, <laughs> He's a <f> nigger. <laughs> You're a nigger, you fing ugly ass <laughs> you ho. The fact that Jeffrey still has followers and subscribers boggles my mind. I don't get how millions of people support some of these beauty influencers. I just don't get it. Even though I'm defending James in this video, he too has said some ignorant things. He made a joke about catching Ebola in Africa, which I thought was super ignorant. So everyone in this video is problematic. I am happy that James was able to defend himself against this clear smear campaign, but there's no innocent person in this situation. This is why I'm sticking to people like Jackie Ina, Alyssa Ashley, Nima Tang, Ellery, Nikki Tutorials, and some other beauty gurus. These are some of the beauty gurus that I like to watch. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.